Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We're going to that horrible world known as Agape Boarding School. But before we do, the usual disclaimers. Why are we going back to Agape? Wasn't it closed? Let me introduce you to a little bit of what I like to call Missouri logic, which is no logic at all. That's when a particular church or something affiliated with a church gets caught with their hands in the cookie jar. So instead of doing what any coherent person to do would do, which is, you know, close down the place and put forward information to the proper authorities on the on the guilty. Oh no, no, not Missouri. Their idea is rebranding, which means instead of closing a place down, they simply resubmit the paperwork as though it were a brand new school and simply change the name. And folks, they didn't just change the name. They changed it to something that, I'm a nihilist, let's face it, reminds me of, you know, Old Testament. So what is this new name, you might ask me? Well, that new name is called Stone for Help. Considering their long history of abuse, torture, child trafficking, rape, and sexual assault, I couldn't help but think of the, you know, the Old Testament. Where they would take a offender, tie them to a pole, and allow the so-called God-fearing people to throw throw stones at them until they die. Maybe that's not exactly what they were trying to allude to with the name change, but my autistic ass couldn't help but see the correlation because of what they have been got caught doing so far. The people who are going to be running this so-called new school is the same principal and wife that has allowed sexual assault, sodomy, and rape of the boys there to continue to go on unabated for decades. The same principal who has allowed those who have been accused and found guilty of these crimes to live on the premises and continue to keep their jobs. And Christians, not my definition of them, by the way, because of that pressure in Missouri, we do have a law where if a employee is actively appealing a ruling that puts you on the abuse registry, that you are allowed to maintain your employment regardless of what the accusations are against you. So, folks, Agape hasn't gone anywhere. It's just changed its name. And not only did they rebrand and expect us to just think, oh, everything's magically better and no longer come after them, they had to go to even further stupid heights. They didn't even change the location of the school. So those abused boys are still there under full power of their abusers who are now emboldened because they feel like because they've rebranded, now they're going to get less oversight into their brand new school. Fucking spare me. And I see things getting worse, not better. We're going to go ahead and go to the disclaimers, and we are starting it for this school brand new. And I'm going to work with the survivors to come up with a new hashtag so that people can realize just how fucking corrupt and uncaring towards abused children this state actually is. I mean, granted, I knew that from my youth, but goddamn Missouri, the bar was low, but holy fuck. (sighs) Otherwise known as 
basically agape is no different than the JRC. And because of their links and who they're linked to, and because they put money in the pockets of the politicians, it's the same shit, different state. All right, let's get going, folks. In the description box, you're going to find the link to this brand new article from Ozarks First. It's going to include the rebranding of Agape Boarding School, same as the previous school, and the fact that all the abusers are all still there. It's the exact same people. Please read this article yourselves and share it on all your social media. I'm going to rebuild the archive that my description box has become. Of course, we've got the pertinent links to the granddaddy of all these fucking schools. And one of the oldest. That would be the Judge Rotenberg Center. And I'm talking about the pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign. Be including... Folks, this comes first off, the article that the Judge Rotenberg Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's quote-unquote behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much they have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit. They did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused. So you know that drill, folks. Please read that article and share on all your social media. We also have Neuroclastic's public statement in regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding, folks, in case the JRC has the balls to see through with their threat. We got the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign as well, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, a link to the behavioral sheet of shockable offenses provided by Jennifer Masumba, a clip out of the seven-hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCollins back in 2002, the templates and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Folks, when we discuss this brand new school, just like the old school agape now known as Stone for Help, you're going to hear vivid descriptions up. Hold on, folks, allergies. And catch clips or surveillance footage of boys with mental health issues, difficult home life, having trouble in school, and disabled, being tortured and abused. If you have young children present, please use your headphones. This channel is marked not for children for a reason. We use profanity and speak on dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger, parental supervision is advised. All right, we're going to go ahead and read this article, and like mentioned, it's going to be the first article probably out of several why I dig into this just out-and-out out stupidity. All right, it's called Color 10 Investigates. New school for troubled boys to open on agape grounds. This is by Laura Barnes. Stockton, Missouri, as the controversial Agape Boarding School closes its doors permanently today, other doors will soon open on the same property, also aiming to reform troubled boys through Christian schooling. Can I just, I'm going to take a moment and just tell you how nonsensical this is. Because folks, they're not talking just general Christian stuff. They're talking about evangelical brainwashing. Okay. This is something I've never understood. And everything I've ever stood, understood about Christianity, in particular Protestant Christianity, it is not a school's job to teach a child their faith or the rules of it. It's the parent's job. 
In fact, kids are expected to get this schooling inside their homes so that when we go out in the community attending things such as, oh, shocker, public schools, they could act as witnesses. At least this is what was taught to me back in my old evangelical days. Thank God I left that the way of the dodo years ago. Okay? This, I've never understood it. Because evangelicalism is basically Christianity at its, it's Christianity for stupid people. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of intelligent people who are involved with it. I'm just going to say it the way it is. It is Christianity dumbed down, stripped of all of its traditions, stripped of the Fathers, basically, of the faith. And no, folks, I'm not talking John Calvin. Don't get me started on what I think about John Calvin, because this could go all day, and I don't want a video that goes like about nine or ten hours. I'm talking the actuals, okay? I've never understood this. See, when you throw any particular faith in this school, it immediately becomes suspect to me. It's not telling me that you want to instill values into someone. It's telling me you want to isolate them from any other world viewpoint except for your own. You don't want them to freely choose you want to brainwash them to the point that they never deviate from your idea of what the truth is. Okay? It's insane. It's literal brainwashing. And because they slapped the Christian label on there, you really think proper science is being taught? you think proper health class is being taught? Do you think they're being taught about reproduction in any way that is actually useful in the modern world? Because now I live in this state and I can tell you. It's not. Our public schools out here have become so dumbed down at this point that the Gen X kids, me, myself, all these people we went to school with seem like we were getting an Ivy League school education in comparison, okay? The math is more difficult. Everything else is just basically, if you can recite by rote, then you'll graduate. But sorry. Sorry about that rant. I just do not understand yet. You can have your faith. It is even okay to raise your children in a particular faith. What I do not feel is okay is that you close them all out so much and isolate them so much from the rest of the world that when they come out of this brand new little safe cocoon you put them in, of nothing but your own thoughts, they're not going to be prepared for it. Now moving on. According to the documents from the Missouri Secretary of State, a nonprofit called Stone of Help was filed on September the 15th, 2022. So this, folks, has been Agape's plan all along. If you notice, look how far back they've been planning this. They knew they were in trouble. They knew that they had to do something. But as is typical of Missouri, they decided to go with the most batshit, completely ignorant solution as humanly possible. At that time, Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt was outspoken about his plans to shut down Agape Boarding School and prosecute alleged abusers. Dude, no the fuck he wasn't. Are you gonna literally tell me? No, no, no. See, I was around September 15th, 2022 when all this shit was going on. Eric Smith did not say jack shit. You wanna know what he was doing in September? 
running his mouth about the drag queens. Okay? That's what he was doing. Please do not insult my intelligence. He did not have one single word out of his mouth about agape. He was too goddamn busy running for Senate to give a shit about the abused kids he lied to and left behind with their abusers. Okay? Please spare me. State business filings show the address listed for Stone. I'm going to move past that real quickly. See, this is all the paperwork. It's about 0.2 miles from the official address for Agape Boarding School in Stockton. So basically, they moved their office to a new building. Missouri logic. Jennifer and Jason Dirksen's names are listed on state business filings for Stone of Help Group Homes. Jason Durkin says the allegations of mental, physical, and sexual abuse at Agape were often exaggerated or untrue. He confirmed that he was a former principal in Agape and his wife, Jennifer, worked in the academic office there. Exaggerated, he says. I find this interesting principle considering that those who have come forth with accusations and still have civil lawsuits leveled at you can actually produce ER documents to the physical trauma and sexual assault, abuse, rape, and sodomy that your little fucking employees engaged in. This is what I say when I say Missouri doesn't give a shit about children. They just want to look good to their insane Christian peers. I'm not talking about the logical Christians out here that live and let live. Hate to say it, but the majority of them are Catholic or hippie Christians. I'm talking about the loud minority of Christians out there who have all the money and all the power in this state. You all talk about the Catholic Church all the time covering this shit up. If you think Protestantism and evangelicals are even remotely better, this is my exhibit A, okay? This is Exhibit A. The truth is, fundamentalists of all kinds are dangerous, in particular to the young children. Let's be blunt, shall we? As the couple looks for, toward an opening date for Stone of Help, they're seeking a similar clientele, boys with behavioral issues, to enroll as students. Some former Agape students will join their roster, according to Dirksen, who declined to interview on camera. Ah, oh, honey, do you not bear the courage of your convictions? I wonder why. Is it maybe because you know the survivors have receipts? Probably, folks. Probably. Here's the thing. And this has always been my thing. You say you take these troubled kids, you put them in these psycho hell spheres, and you think their aggression's gonna suddenly get better? Scare them straight? Nah. You're going to make that aggression worse because someone who goes through trauma and already has issues with rage is gonna fucking snap. Just saying. They either snap or close in on themselves. <sighs> so what does this tell us, folks? That in actuality, nothing really happened. These kids are not safe. They are stuck with individuals who do not have any fucking business None whatso goddamn ever dealing with vulnerable fucking teen boys who are more than likely dealing with mental fucking health issues, tough situations in fucking home. They're dealing with maybe they got a bad fucking report card and somebody sweet talked mom into sending them into this psychosphere. Because I've seen that shit too. These boys don't need to be scared straight 
or beaten into the compliance with your idea of the truth. These boys need professionals. I'm talking real mental health professionals. These kids may have their issues, but they didn't sign no blank check to Uncle Sam at, to be sent to fucking boot camp. All right? These are young kids, 14, 15, 16 fucking years old. If they are really as bad as these people tried to make them out and demonize them to be, they need real help. They need doctors, teams, to create a treatment program to help them to deal with their issues in a healthy matter, manner. They do not need an indoctrination center where they are easy prey for any of the pedophiles who'd sign up to get a job there. The politicians out here, they don't care about people who've actually proven to be pedophiles. No, they're going to insist that the fucking drag queens are somehow grooming our children for abuse. How the fuck do you even figure? Good God, they act like they're out there on a fucking stripper pole. I'm not saying that hasn't happened, but I live in this state. If that had actually happened, there would have been a fucking lynch mob. Okay? I would feel far safer downtown with the fucking drag queens than even being five feet from Jason Dirksen and his psycho wife. And that's a fact. So folks, we do need to spread this far and wide. We need to not allow them to hide under their brand new name. And we need to continue to put these people's feet under the fire. We're not going to let you run away, Jason and Jennifer, and hide behind a new name. We're not going anywhere. I'm going to close out on that. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So if you could, folks, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. Now, I'm going to be going straight through after I get this video posted and doing my, you know, my preloading. I do want to thank you all for your time. And as always, we here at Spilling Tea do hope you have a good one. See you later, everyone.